Okay, so I forgot to start filming when we first came in. It was actually um, right about eight o'clock and it was still a little bit dark out here. I had to flip the lights on to really be able to see well. Sue and I have been making a little bit of progress. It's, we've probably been here about an hour. Maybe I'm starting to hang some ornaments over here because we really don't have any place. I wanted to hang some wreaths there, but I don't really have right now another place for those little ornaments and we personalize them. So they typically do pretty well for us. Um, I don't know, this year I just feel super brain blocked on what we're doing. I guess maybe, you know, this is our big show every year and we're just woefully unprepared. Hi, this is what I look like, all my hair is done. So not on the other side of this right now. Um, and again, you know, I think that there are some, some bright spots popping up. We are whittling down the baskets. We did inch forward a little bit. So that was nice to have a little bit more space. Um, we've got to put jewelry on all the mannequins. Um, you know, we'll get to the point where we're able to just like put stuff away at the end. Sue is filling the baskets full of greenery, which honestly she's been doing kind of for two days because that sweet greenery is for us. Um, she's starting to merchandise the shelves and get things done. Um, she had a great display for those trees on this coffee table, but we had, but we've had to uh, had to put it away. So I think we've got some nice things that we'll be able to sell. Hopefully, it's supposed to be nice weather this weekend, so hopefully it really is, and it'll all be good. It'll all be good. It'll all be what it is. And I am freaking out and Sue is freaking out, but at the end, when the doors open, it'll all be good. It'll all be good. Honey's house has moved to a different section. So uh, we're gonna have to take you over there later today. She's not, she's not right by us. There's somebody new by us. So we'll have to take you on a little tour that way at some point. Okay, so this is where we are now. The gates just opened. It is 10 o'clock. Um, just two hours went by oh, really fast. Uh, we are not where we would like to be, but I think we'll do. And right now that's, you know, that's just gonna have to be kind of what it is. Um, yeah, so this is the outside. This is our porch area and I'll take you inside. We'll do vendor walks later. I still have a ton of pricing to do. So, you know, um, this is, so there's our cash wrap. Sue's actually still setting stuff up. You can see customers are coming in with bags already. They don't usually hit us up for another 45 minutes. So, wow, okay. Um, this, we've got a whole bedroom set here and a beautiful um, desk and chair. I would have liked to have gotten a lot of these painted but it didn't happen. So some ornaments back here. And I was hanging up um, jewelry. So I gotta get that out of the way. Let's go put that back over here. Okay. Very stressed today. Very stressed yesterday. Definitely never take a cruise the week before your biggest market. Just don't do that. That's that's a bad plan. It's a very bad plan. You can see I was putting up jewelry on mannequins. Haven't finished that, but we'll see. It's gonna be what it is. There's not much I can do about it at this point. Just gonna be what it is and hope for the best. Okay, it's about 2.30 and um, we're definitely seeing some holes. We've sold a lot of big pieces, Sue's porcelain lamps, the Italian porcelain lamps, the little pink Christmas tree. It's not the big one, somebody's actually interested in it. I didn't buy them to sell, but it happens every year that things, unique things like that, that people actually want. So I definitely do a markup high. Um, I don't think we've sold any furniture yet. So, Oops, on that, we had some people interested in a couple pieces, but 
it didn't materialize, at least not yet. So hopefully, I mean, honestly, that's usually a family day kind of thing. So um, we did sell this large piece of artwork. So I kind of need to rearrange some of this. It's behind the desk. Um, you see, this is almost empty. So we need to plan that. Toolboxes are still here. The big tr Christmas tree is still here, but it is actually sold as is the small joy. So those are gonna go away um, fairly soon. They're just still shopping. Um, and we're gonna pick it up at the end. And you can see that these have gotten very light as well. So Sue and I are gonna have another busy morning tomorrow trying to get everything managed and looking good again. Uh, definitely we're, we're around $1,600, $1,700 in sales right now. So for a Friday afternoon, as discombobulated as we were today, I'm pretty happy with that, especially since we haven't sold any furniture yet. So hopefully, hopefully, um, some furniture will, sales will pick up. I haven't really seen a lot of furniture sales in general. Um, I haven't seen any big pieces wander off and I haven't seen any of our um, co-workers, our, the other vendors in our little pavilion have furniture pieces wandering off. So that's where we are. Okay, it is four o'clock, the market is closed. Sue and I have already been trying to, um, probably for the last 20 or 30 minutes as the market got slow, have been trying to refluff, restock. And yeah, it is, it is just a lot. Um, we are a hot mess. We even had customers asking, oh, do you get to restock for tomorrow? And it's like, well, this really kind of is what we've got. So we are trying to, um, things that we didn't get out because we just didn't have time to get them priced and out. Um, we're working on those and we're working on filling out um, with greenery and candles and pedestals and the things that we typically do for market to showcase our collections. But it's been a really good day. I haven't looked at the final number. I know we're over $2,000 in sales today, which may be less than a typical Friday for us for fall or winter market, but we didn't sell a single piece of furniture yesterday or today. Hopefully that will happen tomorrow. We didn't have our busts out for jewelry. We haven't had a lot of greenery um, displayed out. Um, and honestly, we don't have a ton of greenery this year. So considering what we've sold, we are extremely happy. It works, who would have thought? So yeah, so let me show you the front porch and the condition that it's in right now. Saturday is always the good day. I will say the sun is really bright right here. Um, we've had a lot of interest in Sue's big toolboxes. We sold a lot of high ticket items today that, which is actually pretty customary for this audience. This group, Fridays are usually more designers, things like that. Um, people with a little more money and their kids are grown or in school. Um, so tomorrow should be a really good day. We have sold a heck out of some pedestals. We didn't even have our large pedestals out today until the last hour because Sue accidentally forgot them on the trailer. So she's getting more of those. We only have an hour to, um, this afternoon. Then we can be back at seven. Market opens at nine. So yeah, I, we've had a lot of interest in the zebra too. So I think there's a better than average chance that we'll sell this toolbox and this zebra, I'm hoping. We'll see about furniture. Not a lot of interest in there yet. Um, a lot of people looking, but uh, honestly, Sunday is the furniture day. Saturday, hopefully, will be still decent. So this is kind of what our booth is looking like. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Honestly, we're pretty on track. If we could sell some furniture, I think we'll exceed our expectations but you know nothing happens until it happens so we will see how tomorrow goes thanks guys it's friday it's friday day one <laughs> we have been trying not to talk to each other about this in the car i know she started asking me questions to think about and then i was immediately like blah, 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 blah. Blah. and then and then be like no 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 we don't want to talk about it we don't want to talk about it we don't talk we're gonna about do an, no. We're gonna talk about it on camera. And then she'd be like, and, 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 and. So we got lots of things to talk about. Mm -hmm. 
Do you want to go first? Or do you want me to go first? So it's day one. It's day one. Uh, I think we've explained to you how our setup went. Mm -hmm. It was bad. We, we, we looked like a total wreck of a garage sale in the back and of our booth. Yeah, we'll have to show that to you tomorrow. I had to, I had to apologize to the neighbors. Like, we don't normally look this bad. I know. Honey House, which is usually across from us, she came by this morning because, you know, she was done setting up. And she and I had gone by her yesterday. I'm like, we are so bad. And it was maybe an hour before opening. And she's like, you know you only have an hour left. I'm like, <laughs> tell me what I don't know. I said, I told you we were a mess. She's like, well, I thought you were kidding. No, mm, no, no, there's no, there's no kidding here. Which <sighs> leads me to a question, a couple questions. Okay. So I know that part of our disorganization was you should not take a cruise the week before market. Okay. There, there was that. There was <coughs> the aspect of uh, wanting to rest before the market probably shouldn't happen that week. No. There were a lot of things in our lives that have been stressful lately, and we thought getting a break would be good and come in with clear heads and focus, hmm. but that did not happen. That, that wasn't. That was a bad, bad plan. Because when I got back from cruise, I got real busy with work, which so, is nice for me. And I was trying to get stuff done, and and we never had the chance to organize stuff to get it on the to get it organized for the trailer to get it there in one fail swoop. So it took us two trips. Two trips which took more time. Plus we were grabbing things from four different locations. Two trips and we basically just grabbed boxes that we barely knew what was inside of them. Yeah, that's true. I mean, so. I was telling one other vendor that really we didn't do anything for the show other than empty out our storage unit, empty out a lot of our booth and show up and try to decorate with whatever we had. And and uh, and furniture that does not uh, participate in holding a whole lot of stuff. Yeah, So so we made, you know, I expected that I would do most of the setup this show because the last couple of shows have ended up that way because you've been working during setup. Every time, every time. Um, and so I that, get lots of work. And so that applied and didn't apply. We lost a half a day setup on Wednesday because of that. I had a I had a four o'clock. I thought I was going to be able to get my pictures done and pick her up at five because it was in this area. And apparently they closed it for anyway. Right, but we and left. needed to get to uh, pick up stuff over Stuff that was linen. So we ended up leaving before two. Yes, we left early. So we lost at least. So it was basically yeah, a dump and run for us. It was. Um, so that really, we had a day to set up. Yeah. Effectively. Boxes of things that we weren't that sure That we didn't of. even know what was in them. And having uh, less than usual of greeneries. And most of which wasn't priced. Oh, we didn't price. I think I priced four different sets of greens. And I had like maybe five. So Well there so, we go. So most, really so most of our most of our stuff wasn't priced when we got to market. Which can be a pain. And we didn't Hi, Dean. think of putting prices on the larger containers of the greenery until midday because once it opened, boy. It we starts out with we a bang. literally still had boxes out when the market open and usually I'll say it takes about 45 minutes but before before anybody gets to us from you know when the market opens I'm right at the entrance so I don't understand but they, this but this year it was like within 15 minutes they were in they the They came in before I even knew we were open. Yeah. I I, I saw right. people walking around with their little purple milk bags and I was like oh oh <laughs> let's get things moved. Yeah. So um and then our point of sale system wouldn't turn on. Oh, it is a POS. So I spent the first hour, hour and a half trying to get something like we, so we rang up about $2,300 in sales today, which, which is great. I'm very happy about. But there were other sales that were fortunately just cash at the very beginning that didn't get logged because I didn't have any way of actually ringing them up. Yeah, we, we couldn't get, well, there were uh, apparently some issues with internet, because uh, that'll happen when everybody gets on in the morning. Um, so that's nutty. And then the POS system is not playing ball this week. Eventually, I was able to get it to work on my phone. And so we rang up everything all day manually on my phone. Yeah, so that was good. That um, was good. But we never got the actual POS system operating. So that'll be a task that I need to do tonight. 
is try to figure out why it's not. I tried last playing night. Game. It was not playing games today. So that was very, that was a huge, like I lost a lot of time in the morning that I should have been doing pricing or merchandising or something, anything, customer service that I was doing nothing but trying to play IT worker. She was breaking down. It was sad. It, I, I'm usually <laughs> really good with tech. I'm usually really good with tech. And it was, it was, it was rough. But it, it, it wasn't, it wasn't a bad it, it, it ended up being okay. Comes to the question of, <laughs> we lost a lot of horizontal space. We've, we spent years really upping our game for horizontal space. Mm -hmm. And then this year we lost it all. Yes. Um, so that may not have been as helpful as planned. We didn't have wall space like we would normally do because nope. we used up all our wall space for furniture. Yeah. So uh, signage, I haven't really been able to bring out much signage. Which surprisingly, we actually sold some signs that I just kind of stuck on shelves. Yeah. So good for that. Um, I, my, one of my questions for you uh -huh. is... Um, Don't look at your phone. Yeah, I'm just going to turn your phone over so you can't even see it light up. Um, one of my questions for you is, even if I had to set up myself, do you think that we would have been more organized if we had kept the third space? All right, now I have been pondering this one because you said I should ponder this one, mm -hmm. and I'm going to give you my opinion. Yeah. Yes, I think we should keep the third space. I think we should get it back again. And I will tell you why. Mm -hmm. With the third space, we get some extra space. Which yeah, is so plus. it's not only 12 feet, because these booths are 12 feet wide. It's not only 12 feet. We usually get another four feet. They, they want us to block a certain entrance, mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. we are happy and willing to do so. Yep. Um, oh, they even told us we were in our box today. Oh, yeah. And they were like, can you just come out a little bit? Bring it, bring it out. Can you just bring it so out they, a little they bit? They want us to try and get out to some trip hazards that are out there for tie downs. Um but honestly, the extra space for me is extra space for, for us. us. Like we didn't get to sit down one time today because the only way we could sit, the only way we could, like the chairs won't fit in the booth. Yeah. So we had to go behind the booth if we wanted to sit. And neither one of us were in a place where one of us could leave the other for that. There's, there's no room for both of us at, at, the, at the cash wrap and the packing table. And have customers look at things that are behind us. We, we literally have maybe a five foot by five foot space for both of us to stand in. Including the cash wrap and all of that. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's. And that might seem like a lot for some people, but for us, it's oh, not. No. I'm so used to having some space where we can spread things out and we are less disorganized behind the cash wrap. And that helps my sensibilities to n feel less disorganized elsewhere in the in the whole booth. So yes, I think uh, it's worth it. Now, if we had a third space this year, I'd probably be freaking out just as much, if not more, because I'd feel like we didn't have enough. Well, yeah, by the end of today, first day, right? It's three day market. Tomorrow's the big day. By the end of the day, there were customers literally asking if we were gonna be able to restock. And it's like, um, mm. not the same stuff. Yeah, it's not gonna be. Something will be on the shelf. Yeah. But you know. Yeah, the good news is you they say your furniture sells better if you don't fill it full of stuff. Exactly, so let's so... see how that goes. People were looking at the furniture. They were. Everybody opened up your cabinet and they were looking at it and they were surprised and they would call their friends over to look at it and the beautiful little inside pop cabinet. I'm sure you saw the video. Uh, people like that cabinet because it looks so nice and then it pops open surprise. One lady wanted to leave your doors open. I'm like, no, 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 no. It's a surprise. Uh, the furniture, having furniture. Advantages, oh, yeah, disadvantage we were, of furniture. We, we normally have our rolly carts out there and that's generally shelves. Like normally, height. normally we have more display. All of our, our displays are not for sale, right? Yeah. Normally, we have kind of worked it into having lots and lots of shelving and lots and lots of wall space, but not having, you know, maybe maybe one or two pieces of furniture to sell, but very little. So we've had a question of, in this, this market, we kind of figure would determine whether or not we continue to do markets. Mm -hmm. So. Um, so do we? I mean, I think we got to wait. Wait it out. See, see how our weekend. See how goes. the weekend goes. I mean, we did it. We, I, I, I am, I am sure we had for, a good day today. Honestly, for what we had out, and for as 
hot mess as we were, mm -hmm. I am astounded with how well we did. Um, I am very excited today. My two vintage lamps, mm -hmm. my gorgeous vintage Italian lamps. Italian porcelain, yeah. Uh, they, they were they one of the first today. things to sell today. Uh, they, and I got those free at, at an auction, didn't I? Yeah, you did. I got those free. Somebody did not want them when they went to go pick them up. And when I went to pick up my stuff, they were like, you want those lamps? I'm like, yeah, and I, I was going to bid on those lamps. And I sold them for $180 for the pair. Yeah. I'm very excited about it. Good that. profit margin. So, um, I what think. Another question. Yeah. So, I think we did well. So, you were going to say something and you're like, nope, 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 nope. Um, uh, I, I do agree with you. I think in the spring, we should bump. I Ask if we can get back to the bigger one. I know and, she'll get back to and, us. And, and promise her we won't look like a yard sale. Well, I think we looked like a yard sale because we. We just a mess. We, we I mean, I think it was, I think it was twofold. I think we didn't have space to put things. Huh. And so that kept, that made everything take longer. Normally we can have all the boxes sitting out in front of our booth. And Melissa will just go bing, 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 bing. And put things where they need to go. And we just. And I just really sort of fluff it in the morning or fluff mm -hmm. it the day before or whatever. Yeah. And, and mm -hmm. my little porch area I, I mean I've got a lot of room on those shelves I've got a ton of rooms but I don't I don't know what to put them I, I, I think I think it was I think it was a huge a huge misstep so we could fill the shelves in the morning with whatever we got I think a lot of our our uh, estate sale finds and things are selling agreed I I think people are picking up a lot of that stuff the the uh, and that's surprised me and made me very happy. But I have at least five totes that are not, that have not even hardly been opened to unpack. And we didn't sell nearly as much greenery today. And that is a hundred percent because we... Oh, it's not on display. It's not on display like oh, it usually is. Weird. Uh, looking around and we've got all kinds of little, uh, bird cage like things and they're empty. Like we never have them empty. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't have a lot of center. I think I've put more stuff in the bird cages. I don't than... have a lot of centerpieces for those cages this year because I didn't go up and buy anything. And we usually sell them all. And the Santas that I have been putting in there, oh, like we have we almost sold out of Santas today. Yeah, just about sold out of a woman came with an armful of them. Yeah, she <laughs> bought almost three hundred dollars worth of Santas today. It was fantastic. It was. And it was right at the end of the day, so that was nice. She was just like, What other Santas do you have? My handmade Santas, all those went. Um, a lot of good stuff. I am happy that stuff that I did spend time on making mm -hmm. has sold really well. Very well. So that does feel good. Yeah. Um, I don't think anybody bought my shelves. No, you did sell some shelves today. Some of the shelves sold today? Some of the shelves sold today. Well, they must not have been looking then. <coughs> I know I rang up at least two or three. All right. I then. mean, maybe not a ton, but they definitely... Hey. I'm just happy. So when we left, I made sure that, and I'll do it more in the morning, the pedestals and all of that that are out there all got greenery and candles and stuff today. So I'm trying to fill in those. I completely forgot to put out the big pedestals today. I forgot to take them off the trailer and everything. And we were selling like selling the small ones like crazy. <sighs> um, we are almost sold out. Tomorrow of, we're going to sell a whole bunch. We are almost, well, we did sell out of one kind of greenery. We are almost sold out of two other kinds of greenery. On day one. I need to pull a whole bunch off the shelves. Whatever we got left over is coming back with us. Yeah. In the morning. And uh, I'm just going to have to drive by, dump it off, and go park the truck elsewhere. Because apparently I parked uh, somewhere that they locked us basically in with flags. So I had to take fun. down their flags. And if you're watching this, we put them right back. Everything looks normal. It doesn't look. Nobody saw us do it either. It's true. So I promise we, we didn't destroy anything. We're very respectful. Um, yeah, so anything um, else you... I, I want to say that uh, just the uh, looking at other vendors, talking with other vendors, I think everybody's been happy. I think this market is doing pretty good. Mm -hmm. I do love this market. Oh, I love this Great market. weather. The staff is so kind like there was the, there was an wonderful. outage there was an outage of the internet this morning we actually didn't have an internet problem we had an issue with our pos yeah um but, but, so but two of the other it. two of the other vendors by us didn't have the internet they couldn't get cards to ring through and 
they came by and asked us in the morning when they were fixing that for the other vendors, they're like, do you have any internet? Are you having internet issues? And I said, no, I'm not having internet issues. I'm having POS system issues. And so later, maybe an hour or two later, she came by and said, have, has your um, terminal, your POS system been fixed? And I said, no, I just don't think it's playing. She's like, well, is it, sometimes it's the, you know, because the internet, I'm like, no, it doesn't have anything to do with the internet. The internet's been fine on my phone all day. We're able to ring everything up. This is not, but she, she came back and even though the problem wasn't even on their end, she wanted to make sure that we were in a They're good place. They're working really, really hard to make sure that all the vendors are happy. Um, last year they got a lot of slack. I don't understand why. It's the rain because a tree knocked down a line and then that, and there's just nothing you can do about that. It was three days of rain and winds and a horribleness. It was, it was rainy and everybody was just bummed out about it. And, and so that has... Can't do anything about that. And that has nothing to do with them. But, I mean, everybody there is always wonderful. I love being out there. I, I feel just happy being out there. I do. Under the trees and... I am oh. sore and I am tired and my brain... I feel like I've got brain fog from the stress this morning. But the reason that we do this show and we've quit every other show is because this show is so fun to do because they make it so enjoyable. Yeah. And I've actually put a little bug in her ear to see if she wanted to do Perry again. Yeah. I would love to do Perry again. It really comes down to we babysit the boys and I don't know yeah. that we can be gone a week. That's true. So, so, uh, unless schedules change, uh, we're just sticking local. Yep. And uh, we've got... Uh, and Perry's one of those shows that it's not great money-making, but it's a really enjoyable show. And then after after things... I would well, do I would do Charlotte again, too. When we're done with this show, Gulf Coast, but we have to go and fix our booth at uh, Lennon, Lennon and Russ. And we basically destroyed it. It's completely empty, and they want to have a big sale this weekend. Friday, next weekend, yeah. It's like, I don't even know what we're going to put in I'm just gonna. We'll see what's left. That's left. And Whatever's then. left, it'll get sorted into either going to linen or going on whatnot. Because we've got a Black Friday sale on whatnot too. I, I think we should just go to Bob Evans for Thanksgiving. I'm, <laughs> I'm, the one, all, I'm the one who does all the cooking, <laughs> so I'm down with that. I'm like, let's just let's just go grab a burger for Thanksgiving. Lily's going to Ethan's house. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, who's got time for this? I know this is that's the problem. We used to do a show in Hawaii when we lived in Hawaii. Our big show. Um, was hand, was like a handmade in the south kind of thing, <laughs> except it wasn't the south. It wasn't handmade in the south, but it was like that. And it was Thanksgiving weekend. It was Thursday. It was Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Oh, that that's no. <laughs> I mean, turkey sandwiches all weekend long. I'd have no problem with, but no. But the show was Friday, Saturday, Sunday. No, I couldn't do it because you'd have to you'd have to set up Wednesday, Thursday. Uh huh. And that's like no. <laughs> Somebody would have to make my turkey sandwiches for me, and I don't think they would do it right. No, I think somebody have to make the turkey. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that though. Now that we're talking about I'm it, I'm looking forward to pumpkin people. pie and stuffing and corn casserole. Looking, hey, leave us comments. Sauce. Leave us comments below. What is your favorite What's Thanksgiving, your favorite Thanksgiving side? Thanksgiving? Yes. You know, do you have ham or turkey? And what's your favorite side? And how many of you love cranberry sauce as much mm -hmm. as I do? Love it. Put it on everything. When we go to Bob Evans and I get the turkey meal, which I do every time, Sue's always so excited because the first thing I do is give her the cranberry sauce. When we were on the ship, they had a Thanksgiving meal, mm -hmm. and John and Melissa gave me their cranberry sauce. So, and you had, and, and you had the same meal, so you had three yes. cranberry sauces. I love it. I love it. Yeah. So I put that stuff on everything. So yeah, leave us in the comment. What's your favorite? What's your favorite? Uh, Thanksgiving your, side. Yeah. Or what's your favorite dessert for Thanksgiving? Ooh. I struggle pie. between I gotta, pumpkin, pie pumpkin pie and pecan pie, but I must love pumpkin pie more because I always go, if I have a choice, always go for that. I always go for the pumpkin pie. And are you Cool <laughs> Whip or Whipped Cream? Cool, uh, cool Whip. No. I know. You hate Cool Whip. I whip love, cream. I love Cool Whip on my pumpkin Give pie. Give me my Ready Whip. I want, I want it like, I want like equal parts pie to Cool Whip. Yeah, that's good. Like... Not yeah. just like a little dollop. I a want like whipped cream. If somebody wants to whip up some whipped cream, I'm even happier. But give me that. Johnny will do that. Right. I know he will. Mm -hmm. Good Deserve. stuff. 
They'll put a little flavor in there or something too. Her <laughs> lips feel. I keep chewing on my lips. I keep chewing on my lips. If you're wondering, because tore we, up uh, from the cold, the cool wind today. It, it, Florida is dry right now and cold right now. And we're used to humidity. And all us Floridians are starting to shrivel up. Um. So. All right, guys. Well, I think that's going to be it for tonight. We've got things to do for tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed today's wrap-up. Make a big salad for tonight. And uh, we'll let you know what happens tomorrow. It's going to be a good day. going to be a good day. It's going to be a good, good day. See you guys later. Bye. Bye.